welcome back friends so we have done the seven phases of arco linux learning path earlier so the phase 8 was pending phase 8 contains the carly that is the customized arch linux iso and lc that is arch linux calamus installer so today we will check out this lc how to install uh, arch linux using the arch linux calamus installer so let us start so this is the web page for the lc so if we go to the web page you will get the building code for uh, lc from the github so lc contains various isos so first iso is the lc iso it is for the general public it contains the capability to change the uh, pacman configuration change content of the packages create your own iso no xor sddm is installed and enabled and there is no desktop so this is the typical configuration of the lc iso it is meant for the general public it has got a linux kernel you can uh, change the pacman configuration file you can change the contents of the packages you can create create your own iso there is no xorg sddm is installed and enabled but there is no desktop then there is also uh, lc iso pure it also contains the IS, uh, linux kernel no xorg no comfort packages only base packages are there calamers will clean out certain packages that are still on the other isos and there is no desktop then there is the also uh, lc iso dev so here we can test all the keys mirrors packages and local repos dev stands for the development this is our testing that everything works iso so this is only development and testing iso it is not meant for the general users so you can keep it uh, away from this it contains a linux kernel arch linux arco linux chaotic aur your local repo so you can add uh, some packages from your local repo to this iso xorg light dm and sddm are in installed and the xfc is there as a desktop so today we will test this this is the lc iso lts uh, iso for the general public lts kernel is there you can change the pacman configuration you can change the contents of the packages uh, you can create your own iso xorg is there sddm is there and the marty desktop is there and there is the uh, lc iso zen so it contains the zen kernel you can change the pacman configuration change the contents of the packages create your own iso uh, there is support for xorg sddm and cinnamon desktop and finally there is the lc iso hardened so it contains the hardened linux kernel you can change the pacman uh, configuration you can cha uh, change the contents of the packages create your own iso xorg sddm and plasma uh, are sub supported and finally there is the Al uh, lc iso zen mode edge kernel or the iso it contains a zen mode edge kernel the arch linux is there xorg sddm xfc4 support is there arco linux chaotic is uh, available and there is no local repo so this is how it looks so these are the all the isos that are found and you can clone the git uh, sources from here for each of the iso we will directly go to the page for the for this lc iso lts so this is there and you go to the file tab and from here you have to download the iso i have already downloaded the iso but i will just show you the files so these are the different files that are shown here on the lc uh, page github page and these are the same uh, files so you have to open the folder and download the files and the uh, folder will look like this so you have got uh, different uh, uh, versions of the same iso at the same uh, at the different uh, time so there are some isos from the last year from the last month last to last month like that so you have to check and uh, download this uh, appropriate iso i have downloaded the latest iso here that is the first july so let us go to the folder where i have downloaded the iso now the package list is there i also downloaded the package list so you can see this the package uh, this many packages are available in the iso okay so now what we will do is we will test it out in our virtual machine and uh, then install the iso 
so you have to use the arch template customize select 4 gb as usual and around 25 gb so you are comfortable and there is enough uh, free space available select the first option i don't have any graphics card so first option is always okay data leaks possible via specter v2 bhb attacks So we are now logged into a Mate desktop, live Mate desktop and the Alci installer has started. So there is some uh, graphics uh, resolution uh, improvement is required. I will go to the control center where is the display. Uh, here it is the display so i'll increase the size or resolution okay now it's okay keep this resolution close this control center i think the there is issue with the definitely there is some issue it is hanging also okay so now okay it's now okay so we go ahead the local selection is okay automatically it is done go for the indian go for english india with rupee use the erase disk option with no swap or you can have swap to file let us select swap to file and have the extended for file system create the user remove this option login automatically that is unsafe method check out the summary if it is ok you can confirm install and now the installation starts so the arch linux is now very easy to set up on your system there is no need to remember the commands and all those things or mess up with the system you can do it easily using the graphical method that is the calamars installer after the installation is complete i will stop the video and in the next video we will check out the mate desktop that was installed using this calamars installer for the arch so this is the pure arch that we are going to install using the calamars installer so it is totally gui based system to install arch Many people don't know, I think most people don't know that this uh, Calamars installer is available for Arch. It is uh, available uh, due to the efforts of uh, Arco Linux development team. So we should thank all of them. You can install this, uh, this uh, system on your desktop. So you will have the Arch Linux on your desktop using the Calamars installer. And uh, we will thank uh, the Arco Linux team again. for such a wonderful gift for the arch lovers
you see it is very fast because the ISO itself is just 1.2 GB so only the bare minimum required packages are there the rest all you have to install using the terminal or maybe the software center if it is given so it is very light very fast to install and you can get on with your work you can just install the packages you require only the base system has been provided here in the 1.2 GB ISO this is very fast installation The installation is now complete. I will stop the video here. See you in the next video where we will check out the Marta desktop and the Arch Linux installation done using the Calamars installer in this video. See you in the next video. Bye.